Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video of the API testing, we have seen that how to go ahead and do a get call on one of the open weather API. Now in this video, I have found that uh, there is one more API which we can develop by our own or maybe we can install it on our own. So that API is a mock API and we can use that API to do some more operation like post, get, put, delete and everything whatever we want to do with the API we would be able to do that. So let's go ahead and let's start. So here if you see I have created one package rest assured and in that I have created a class called chapter one. Okay, so this is a blank class, nothing is there. So you have to make sure that uh, before you are, uh, you know, uh, testing anything on the rest assured, you have to make sure the packages which it require and the jar files which it require. All right, so there are three main jar files which we need. One is hemcrest all, okay, and another is io dot rest dash assured, and another is com dot google dot code dot json. Okay, so for that what I have done, I have just put it in one of the page here. It is my blog page. I have just put all the dependencies here. But if you want, you can just type these dependencies on Google and uh, you will get this path from Maven. Just type Maven dependency and then just type this org.hemcrest. Org so it will give you that dependency in front of you. Let's try that. Okay, so if you want to on Google, you can just try. For example, this is the one hamcrest, so I will give maven dependency hamcrest. Okay, so it will give you the dependency, and after that, you just need to copy. Okay, so see, this is all the dependency for hamcrest. So if you want 1.3, we just click on 1.3, and then we can just copy it and paste it in our POM. Okay, so I already have this uh, Maven uh, Maven project, but if you don't have Maven project, you can just do a right click, new, other, and then you can just type Maven here. Okay, and then you can select Maven from here. So in my Maven series, I have clearly explained to you how we do that, uh, like very basics of that. So I'm not going to tell you right now. So here from you can click a maven project and you can create a maven project on your own and in the maven project you get a pom.xml in that you have to give this three dependencies which I have told you one for json, one for rest assured and one for hamcrest. Okay, so once it is done now we want to call uh, the fake API or the mock API which I have found on Google. So let's try that first. So I have not downloaded that yet fake API. So let's do that. For that what we need to do there is a website which I found out. Uh, this one. Yeah, github.com slash type code slash json server. Or even if you know on Google also if you type. Let me type on Google. If you type here fake API JSON server this one okay so here see the second the second option which you see is the same one type go JSON server just click on that and you will get to the same page okay so this is the fake API which it has so what we can do here we can just try to download this and then we can work on that okay but how do we do that so for that what we can do you should have a node.js installed on your computer okay if you don't have you can go to google and download node.js okay but once you have downloaded node.js because i already have on my pc so i'm not downloading again you just have to go to the command prompt okay and here you can type command for node.js is npm because npm is a command which will only work if your node.js is downloaded and set up in your path so I will type npm and then install and then I will say minus g and then it will json dash server okay so this is the path I have to give and I have to hit on enter Alright, so once I hit on enter, it will download this project for me and what I have to do now, I have to create a file which is called db.json file. So these are all the instructions which are already been provided here. So if you want, you can just read out this instruction or you can just follow my video because in video I will just tell you in very small steps how this can be done. Okay. 
All right, so let's wait till the time it installs this JSON server. And uh, in the meantime, what we can do, okay, see, it's uh, trying to download, right? So it may take some time. Let's wait. Otherwise, I will pause the video and then we will just go forward once it gets downloaded. So seam is taking time. Let me just pause this video. Seems that the JSON server and the Swift API has been downloaded now. All right. So if we see this document, it say that once you install this JSON server, you have to create a db.json file and you have to put this into your file. Okay. So what we can do here, we can just go to any blank folder and here we can create a new file. Okay. It name would be db.json. Right. And in this file, we will put this complete JSON payload. All right. And we will do a save and we will just close it. All right. That's it. And let me just see the document again. It says now you need to start your JSON server through this command. So we'll just copy this command. All right, we go into same folder. I will type CMD here. And here I can give this command just to make it sure, you know, we are running these commands so that JSON is up and running. All right, then we can try to test our API. So right now we will just try with the post. I'm sorry, we will try with the get. And in the next video, I will tell you how to do the post delete and put also. Okay, right now we are trying to just basic things with this fake API. All right, so JSON server has been created and it says that this is the resource, right? So let me just hit this resource directly first. Let me see if I'm getting anything here. Okay, so I'm getting a response here. All right, so if I see the document for this, what does it say? Okay, so we have to do this. And this is also my one of the resource. So it means that, see, these. this is a resource which I can give while hitting the, see, get, It's a, there's a get call. And after that, I can give either simply a post or I can give a number. Okay. So if you see here, I am giving either without a number. So whatever IDs are there, it is showing me here. But I want to, if you want to look, specific ID, I can give this. Okay. Oblique slash and one. So it will give me only the ID which has one in there. Okay. If we have more than ID, we can even go for two, three and four, which we, will, which we will look in the next video. So this is how we have done. And if you see here, this is the URI. This is the base URI. And this is from the post slash one. This is our resource. Okay. Just note, make a note of that. Now, if we want to test the same through a Postman, so Postman is one of the software which I told you that you can download it in the previous video or you can also, you know, add an extension of Chrome. So it is available both. So I have already downloaded it Postman. So I'm just opening it. All right. So this is the Postman, how it look. Then let me just try this URL, the get URL here. And that's it. No other thing I need to give and send. Okay. Great. So we have received this response, this response payload. So that's mean we are able to successfully, you know, call this URL. And if you see, I have also received some kind of a header there. Now let's try to do the same into our code. Okay. So let me just remove everything from here. All right. See, this is, this is uh, one of the blank class. I have not written anything uh, right now. So we will just write everything. And uh, we will write in a BDD style because in the last video we have written in a non BDD style. Then I have just gave you a heads up that from now onwards we will write everything into the BDD style. So in this uh, fake API also we will write into the BDD style and then we will do some more operations because we don't want to write large code and we want to do the things with a short possible manner. Okay. So Whenever you are writing in your project, always make sure you write in this way only if you are using REST Assured because that is best REST Assured provide all those methods for us. Okay, so that we can best utilize it. 
all right so before we go ahead let's understand what we can give in given when then as i've written here in the given you can have headers you can give your headers in given you can give parameters you can even give cookies cookie and uh, you can give body content type and if you want to you know call some method like relax HTTPS validation you can call them so we will look into this one by one how do we use that but let's just understand that in the given we mainly give some kind of a data all right what do we give in when in when we mainly give the URL which we want to hit and we can give that URL on the basis of get method post method put method or delete method okay and then usually we assert by using assert that or by using status code we assert the things okay so let's try it now so what we give here first of all as i have told you this is our base uri up to here okay so we always declare a base uri in our project what is a base uri so i will give rest assured okay rest assured dot base uri all right and here i need to give the path for that uri so i will give this uri here okay so this is my base uri now i just need to give my given when then so if i type given all right so it has given me given and once I type here, let me see if it imported anything. Just make it sure you import this thing if it is not importing directly on Eclipse. Okay. You need to type import static and then you have to give io.restassure.restassure.given. Then only your given will work. Okay. So what I want to give here, given, and I want to say that when I am giving the, you know, request, the content type is JSON because that's a JSON payload, right? And I can give content type, content type here, like I have seen, shown you here. So I will type content type and inside that I can give a content as application slash JSON. All right, so I have already given the content type as application JSON. Uh, okay, so I need to remove S J A. It's J S O N. All right. Now, what I need to give, I need to give when, and in the when I can give like get condition, one of the method. As I told you, in the when we can give get method. All right, and in this get method, I need to give the URL of my resource. All right. So what is the resource URL? It is this one. Post and one. Okay. So this is the when which I have given. And now I can give then. All right. So here I will go just print it. I will not do any assertion here. All right. Just to make it, you know, just keep it simple. I have given a base URI. Then I have called given with the application JSON as my content type okay which is written here and then I have given when all right and I am get, giving a get method here then I have typed then so that it can print everything and let, let's try to hit it from our test case So see, it has run and it has given a header also. If you've seen Postman also, when we have run, it has given a body and it has given a header. So same thing we have received here also. Okay. So we are getting a header and we are also receiving a body here. All right. So this is the way you can use that given when then to hit a server. And right now, as you see, we are using the local host. We are using a local server and the local API, which we have installed. Okay. So next video, we will do some more operations by using this API. And uh, we will try to see how to use post, how to use delete and other things also by using rest assured. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.